Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. We have a brand new code. If you haven't caught it yet, guys, there is a Thanksgiving code that is going on right now. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put it down below, but claim your rewards. We get a thousand diamonds. Do also get some additional resources. Now, in addition, I have an exclusive for VIP code. So I went ahead, I redeemed the Thanksgiving code that is exclusive for VIP. I believe it is 14 or higher at this point. This is yielding us 20 scrolls and it is also giving us a reward choice chest. So very cool that we get this guys. I am still in the search for baits, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm looking at a couple things, including Lava Tune. So overall guys, he is a um, hypo hero that we've actually been building. You can see we need one more copy to be able to get some furniture on there. Now we also do need to get two additional copies from there to actually be able to engrave this hero. Now we are starting to see him in a lot of different places, which of course with the new hero, um, I always say kind of wait to build them, give it a little bit of time. But looking at the treasure scramble guys, we have been seeing Lava Tune in some of the formations. Um, that we have actually been seeing within the leaderboards. So looking at the popular formations, looking at a couple different heroes, um, I, I've been seeing him and right there he is running with, you can see Liberta right there, but Lava Tune is in a formation right there. Even looking down here, there's a couple of heroes that I see and there he is in the top formation running with Rem. So we're seeing him in a couple different formations and he's being used in the treasure scramble. Again, looking at some of the best in slot players that we have here, Lava Tune is present in a majority of these formations. Now, in addition, looking over at the Cursed Realm, looking at the Nightmare Corridor, um, he is making a presence in there as well, which means we know there's gonna be a lot of different game modes uh, that he's gonna be used in. And let's look at Felix again, guys. I know, I believe Felix is the one that we did look and copy at yesterday, but right there is Lava Tune in this formation as well. So again, we're starting to see this hero kind of being used everywhere. Now, of course, he is a massive buffer. So in formations like this one where we're running Belinda in here, we're running Palmer in here, we're running Damien in here, not only is he bringing that amplification aspect when it comes to Belinda, but it is also doing the same with Damia, guys. Damia doing a considerable amount of buffing here, but also the damage factor within these formations make it incredibly well. Then, of course, you have Palmer in here for that amplification factor as well, doing a, a insane amount of damage in these formations, guys. Now, in addition, hero info, you can see we are starting to see the collections everywhere. This is really imperative, guys, is if you want to be competitive within these game modes, you're going to be have to running have to be running these in a lot of different formations and a lot of different ones. You can see that we are picking up, we got what, one, two, three right there. Um, the collections are coming out very, very strong. So predominantly, you're going to have to run a lot of different formations to pick these up, making sure that you're prioritizing the heroes that, that you really are building out of there just based on being competitive within this game mode. 100% guys, you have to go in there and you're going to have to build those out. Now for the point that we have already built Lava Tune already, and again, we're gonna kind of look at this. I'm going through here, you can see we got him built up quite a bit. There's 10 free Stargazer Scrolls, so I'm hoping we can pick up some more out of there. Also got his gear, which again, we geared him up pretty well. One copy away from getting our limited animated avatar frame. Very cool there. Now, in addition, we already did get the plus 30 signature item, which means we get a 25 chest refund right there. Now, once we do get the furniture, we can build it up a little bit further. And then of course the engraving is gonna be, be the exact same and allow us to actually build the heroes up a little bit further on top of that. So let's pop these open guys. I want to, again, make a little bit of progression in here as we continue in. It gets to a point with a lot of newer heroes, and I know this is kind of the sticking point for a lot of different players, is it's either you have the hero that is running in a lot of the formations to be competitive within AFK Arena, or honestly, you don't. And that's kind of it. I know there's a lot of players that are kind of struggling keeping up with the heroes. Um, we're trying to do the exact same as keeping up with all the new heroes, especially ones that we're seeing a super high utility which again, Robin Hood, we're not seeing in a lot of formations, but Lava Tune, we absolutely are, guys. Now the stones right there just gives us a little bit more food. I wanna hop in, I wanna do some summons. Hopefully we can get another copy of Lava Tune, which we're looking for. And then of course we farmed up 25 Stargazer Scrolls. Now we did get 10 out of the, um, out, out of getting Lava Tune already built up a little bit. So we do have some more diamonds over there. And you can see there's a lot of players that are summoning right now for Lava Tune as well. 
So I'm hoping again that we get lucky with some of these summons, guys. Now we continue to burn through a lot of diamonds. Um, but even looking at our regular four faction years, and there's a double, guys, which again, it is food in food. That is what we're really experiencing at this point of AFK Arena. Um, it is just a lot of food. And another double right there, guys, which gives us double food. That is right, guys. We got four elite heroes. All four of those elite heroes were unfortunately food. Gives us a little bit more resources, a little bit more of our hero coins as we continue and get ready for that, that build with um, the build of Robin Hood. And again, if you're a free-to-play player, guys, if you're new to AFK Arena, if you can get the resources to pick up Robin Hood, absolutely 100% recommend picking it up. There's a lot of times where we did have heroes that essentially we didn't use upon release, but we actually did use them quite a bit further into AFK Arena. And again, I go back to Queen. I'm thinking about the utility. When she came out, nobody used her. A couple months later, she was in every formation that we've seen. Let's get in here, guys. See if we can pull that one more copy of Lava Tune, or if it is just going to be a lot more resources. And it might just be resources that we're seeing out of here, guys. Let's do a couple summons. I don't remember how many we pulled before when we did have our resources, but we have two full diamond summons, which there we go. 25 cards in. Let's see if we can pull one of these guys. No copy there, but we have one left. We literally have one final summon for Lava Toon, and we get it. Boom, we get it. That way we can put furniture on him, guys. Um, we wanted to try to get that copy, and we pull it out with the one single copy. Now, Time Emblems, we're already at 151, so again, we're saving this for next year when we start seeing the new Awakened Heroes, um, which, of course, will be the third iteration or third cycle um, of the Awakened Heroes itself. So again, we know that is coming, guys. Let's pop these cards open. Grez just going to be a little bit of a recycle right there. And we also do have a couple changes that are coming to a couple different game modes, actually, which is going to be interesting, including the rework for the Mystic Star Zone. So again, that's going to be pretty interesting to see exactly where we kind of land for that. All right, so let's build them up, guys. And there is the double copies right there taking him to the plus 30 signature item. And there is the ascended version of Lava Tune. Now, unfortunately, um, we're going to be diamond poor here. So we're not actually going to be able to, um, to, to build out the rest of his furniture room, but that's okay. We're going to have to see. I don't think we have anything else in here. And Jerome is up just because he is leaving. But that did give us that avatar frame. Of course, Lady Simona, who we just recently built out, going to be replaced and there we go so there is lava tune i'm looking at our frames we have anything like cool fire i don't like see when they put like the season seven here it's kind of kind of more difficult to see him but there he is guys so let's go ahead and pop him in the oak in we have forty one thousand, so we're definitely going to build them out and i believe number six there we go guys there are is the um hypo room which again diamond wise we're not going to have enough we can build them in there. So there we go. We'll continue starting six hours right there. And again, 60 diamonds, which I think we have 60, but I think that might be it. I, I think we only have, they yeah, have that gives us 33 diamonds in their left. But let's go ahead, guys. Let's do these furniture summons and see exactly what we can do. Lower them to the bottom priority. And there we go. So we dropped two on there already. Let's build them out, guys. And again, we put him in the wish list. Um, I believe, yep, we did top right. So we did drop him in there, guys. Again, a few heroes. Now, I also do want to finish out Jerome. Um, to build up Jerome a little bit higher. I do want to finish out Ivan. Um, again, the effectiveness of some of these heroes, but we have 41,000 poke coins. I'm hoping that we can get lucky with some of these summons, guys. The mythic piece right there is for the awakened version of Athalia. And again, we're just going to build these heroes out that are some of the top tier, some of the big utility heroes within this game. There's a copy for Ivan. There's a second copy for Athalia. Again, amplifying the damage that we have with those awakened heroes. There is Lady Simona. I think with her, guys, we don't have very many copies of her at all um, when it comes to the furniture. There's the awakened version of Laika, followed by another one, which is Liberta thinking we're not going to see any for him. Here is a thing. Guys, we just got three for Athalia. That gave us two more cards right here. 
And you know what, these ones, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna sell these, we'll recycle what we have in here. Boom, optimization gave a couple more on there. So we're pretty close. So Ivan's pretty close. And again, thinking of the effectiveness of this hero, guys, I, I think I'm just gonna go in. I think I'm gonna go all in because who else could we finish? I mean, Jerome's nine of nine again, not a huge priority though. Lady Simona, we're not seeing, again, a, a ton of utility when it comes to the hero. Um, same with Robin Hood. Ivan, of course, being used. Um, Lava Tune being used. So you know what? I'm gonna go in for Lava Tune. Sensi is the new hero, and this is actually going to be able to give us some rebates in here because out of the, I don't know if I, I have one, two, three, four. There we go. So in the room that we got, guys, we got lucky with the furniture in there. I'm going to have to come back and upgrade the rest of those. But of course, that is going to allow us to get some poke coins back out of his room. So the hero growth, and unfortunately, there's not a red um, exclamation point like normally. That should be on there, which it seems like they show up a lot of places except where it's an absolute priority. Let's go ahead and I think we have enough. No, we don't have enough. Let's see if we have recycle. Yeah, that gives us enough for one more, which is not a mythic piece. But every time, guys, like I say before, um, every single time that we do summons in here, it is one closer to getting these out and, and really building these up. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade all, boom, there we go. So one to two, one to two, three to six. Just like that, guys. Kind of crazy on the build. And let's see where we have, where we have Athelia at. Because that was a lot of furniture for Athelia. Where are we at with the end, guys? One, 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 two, two, one. Again, we, we should probably focus on and build this one out. I'm um, getting that physical pierce higher, but they, I think it's just doing it automatically down here. I believe it's giving the bonus to health. So do not use the auto strengthen guys. But again, I mean, when you look, so we're at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pieces of furniture for that hero already. Again, gonna make her much stronger in a lot of different game modes, but I'm super excited guys. Lava Tune built up a little bit further, and there is that three of nine furniture, which of course, allied heroes within the stage that deal damage with their normal attacks and skills other than ultimate will receive damage buffs equal to 50% of the damage buff from their ultimate skill. So again, that is gonna be huge, guys. Um, and, and we definitely want to get this to the nine of nine furniture. When he's performing the opening act, summons a stage, damage buff for the ultimate skill provided by the stage is increased to 100%, that is right, guys. If you can get the heroes to ult actually pretty fast, that is going to be massive. And then, of course, looking at the plus 30, looking at the 60, very, very strong when it comes to the haste boost and also the maximum haste that he can provide. Very cool hero, and we're definitely gonna have to pick up his collection in there. But I think right now we have these two. I believe this is the one that they're running on there. And again, this is just the stock one which you can see I'm not really good at all for the build itself, but looking at this, being able to bring in additional potions um, will make a big difference when it comes to building out this hero. All right, guys, so we definitely got that summon for Lava Tune done, which is super exciting. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.